I'm going to show you how to set up your MyID2 with a uh, 4 gigabyte micro drive so we can use it with uh, both MyBIOS and FAT32 or the FAT32 loader. So we'll start off with the uh, cartridge in the computer and we'll select MyBIOS with the uh, blank card inserted. Now you see we have uh, no partition set up. If this is the first time you use the card there might be some junk shown in there. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to initialize the card by pressing I. We're going to choose manual, M, and we're going to let it detect it, push A for auto. It'll detect the size of the drive, and then yes for FAT32, press enter, press enter. Uh, we do want to erase the partition, so push yes, and for, to save time we're going to hit no. You don't want to erase the images right now. And uh, first thing we're going to do is set up the My Bias portion, so we're going to create uh, one hard drive size partition. And we're going to do that with uh, drive A, and set it to 65535, and D for double density. You can give it a name. We're going to call it MyDOS. And now we're going to install that as drive number one. So we're going to push um, change, and then C for change. And then partition A, and we'll set it as drive one. And we're going to push escape, and exit, and save. Now we push shift to go back to the menu with my bias installed and select the MyDOS rescue loader so we can load MyDOS directly from the cartridge. All right, now we have MyDOS loaded and we're going to set up the hard disk, configure it, uh, configure drive number one and we're going to set the size to 65535 sectors and we can go ahead and format that now and my bias will take a minute to, or my DOS will take a moment to uh, write the uh, table of contents and then we can go ahead and write DOS files to the disk by pressing H and that will make the drive bootable and you see we have DOS files on drive number one so we'll go ahead and we'll boot it just to uh, make sure it's working correctly and we'll do that by powering off and on selecting my BIOS and you can press enter here or you can just wait for it to time out and it will automatically boot from the drive we set as partition number one. All right, there we go. That partition is now working. So now we're going to cover setting up the FAT32 portion. Um, when we selected FAT32 in my BIOS, uh, we didn't actually create the FAT32 file system, we just created a partition to put it on. So now we're going to take the card out of the cartridge and we're going to put it into, uh, we're, we're going to use a Windows XP computer and we're going to go ahead and format that FAT32 partition so that we can save files to it from, uh, from the Windows computer and we'll be able to see those files using the FAT32 loader. So we're going to insert the, insert the uh, in this case the micro drive, it's not formatted, the FAT32 partition isn't formatted, we're going to select yes. Uh, make sure you select FAT32 as the file system. That'll be different depending on which operating system you're using. Uh, you can select uh, Quick Format if you like. doesn't matter. And we'll format it in FAT32. In FAT All right, now that that's complete, we're going to just copy some files over. I have the demonstration files, and these are available in the form. Uh, these are... Uh, OSB ROM image and a couple of games. And we're just going to copy those right to the root directory of the FAT32 partition. In this case, that's drive E. So we're just going to drag that over, drop them on drive E, and we will be uh, ready to go. And we'll eject that. And all we have to do now is put it back in the Atari, turn the power, or cycle the power, and select the FAT32 loader from the menu. We should, if we everything went right, we should be able to see those files we put on there right from the loader and load them directly from the FAT32 partition. And there they are. You can just select one by pressing enter. And you see the game is loaded directly from the FAT32 partition. Now we'll try a couple other games. Uh, while we're trying that, say if you want to add more games, if you want to add subdirectories, things like that, you can do that just by taking out the card and putting it into uh, any computer that understands the format and depositing your files there and putting it back into the Atari. Uh, the 
FAT32 loader will load executables, it will load ATR disk images, and it will also load uh, some ROM images. So there you go. Give it a try.